Hi guys, my name is Emma. Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you just how easy it is to travel by car to a whole bunch of different cool places when you live in Arizona. Traveling is one of my favorite things to do. So I love living in Arizona because I can easily travel up north to the pines and the lakes. I can also head over to San Diego or LA. I can go to Mexico. So I'm gonna show you guys that on the map so you can see just how easy and close all of these amazing places are. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, so this is gonna be Gilbert. I live in Gilbert down here in a little bit Southeast Valley. And here you can see the route to Flagstaff. Super easy to drive. Um, it's not super mountainous. You can take the 17 all the way up. That's two hours and 39 minutes, 167 miles. Um, so that's about a half a tank of gas for me. So you can get to Flagstaff and back for, I mean, depending on your gas tank and your gas mileage, 60, 70 bucks, which is awesome. And Flagstaff is beautiful. You can see they have these beautiful mountains, lakes, pines. Um, in the winter, you can go skiing and snowboarding at Snowbowl. Um, so it's just really, really pretty up there. Um, up north, a place I also like to go um, is Payson. We have a cabin up in Heber, which a lot of people here do have second homes um, up north because it's so close. Um, not Flagstaff. Oops. Let's do Gilbert to Payson. And the Mogollon Rim is up here, which has beautiful lakes, beautiful hiking, go fishing, boating. So that's an hour and 28 minutes, which is, it's so close. Um, in the summer, it is so nice, even just to take a day trip for an hour and 28 minutes, some people spend that amount of time in traffic. Um, so here I'll show you what that looks like. It's kind of similar to Flagstaff. It's a little bit more, more dry than Flagstaff, um, but beautiful pines, beautiful lakes, so much to do there if you're an outdoorsy person or if you just want to go relax. There's some cool cabins up there, and there's some little cities outside of that that are well, more like towns um, that are smaller that you can stay for really cheap. We like to go up here for Christmas so we can have a white Christmas. I know that's super important, especially to my Midwestern people. Um, okay, so changing gears... Um, let's see how far San Diego is. Five hours and 46 minutes. You can take the, go through Maricopa, take the eight all the way over to San Diego and you're at the beach. It's so nice. We go there all the time, especially in the summer. My father-in-law lives there. So it's a very common trip for us to go do. And I know a lot of Arizonans go and do it as well. Um, even let's see how far Disneyland is. I know some people like have spend crazy amounts of money just go to Disneyland from around the world really six hours and 29 minutes so really not that far to go to Disneyland and then you can save so much money on flights um let's see Los Angeles I'm gonna go see a concert we've gone down to um LA to go see concerts go see friends super easy drive six hours and 40 minutes LA is super pretty, beautiful city, tons to do, shopping. And let's see, um, Las Vegas. Five hours and 22 minutes, you're right there. Super easy. And um, let's show you Rocky Point, which is in Mexico, it's Puerto Penasco. Not Rocky Point, Arizona. Rocky Point, Sonora, Mexico. Four hours and three minutes. You cannot beat living in Arizona. We have beautiful weather. 
10 months of the year, nine months of the year, those super hot months we get through by traveling. And there's so many places that we can go by car, which makes it so convenient. Um, so that's one of my favorite things about living here because I love to travel. And as many of you know, traveling gets super expensive with flights. Um, if you prefer to fly, you can get to San Diego in an hour. You can get to LA in uh, you know another hour. You can get to Las Vegas in 45 minutes. So it's, su it's a super convenient location to go visit different places that have completely different terrains. Um, one of the best things about living in Arizona by far. So there is also Sedona, which is just breathtaking. I love going there. We went a couple weekends ago. Tons of cool places to stay. The creek's there. You can have a little day trip at the creek. Two hours and 19 minutes. Two hours and 19 minutes so you can go see this. Like, it's crazy. There's so much to do there. It's a kind of a very hippie town. Lots of yoga places and portals and crystals. Um, lots of really cool hiking as well. So that's super close. People travel from all over the world to see the Red Rocks and you can drive two and a half hours and go see it. Um, there's also the Grand Canyon, one of the seven wonders of the world. Grand Canyon, let's see, four hours. So that one's a little bit further up north, but oh my gosh, if you have never been to the Grand Canyon, pictures do not do it justice. It is breathtaking. One of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. And if you are an avid hiker, there are some insane hikes that you can do here. Um, one that I have been wanting to do is have a soup high. Um, you do have to get a permit for this and it's about a 10 mile hike in 10 mile hike out. So it's definitely more than just a day trip. Um, but you get these turquoise waters, waterfalls, just stunning. And it's four hours from where you live. You can go in the summer. Um, it's much cooler up North. Beautiful. Um, another really cool place is Williams, which isn't too far from the Grand Canyon, but it's a cute little kind of historic town. Um, again, it has like really pretty lakes and mountains and trees. Um, we go to this place called Arizona with the kids. They have bears that are just like climbing up on top of trees and stuff. Um, let me show you. Bears just right outside of your car, all this cool wildlife, definitely a hot spot for people here. Um, and that is, let's see how far Williams is. They also have a really cool place there called the Deer Farm, where they just have tons of deer. And you can go in there and feed them and play with them. Um, it's really cool. We had such a good time and the kids loved it. So that's three hours and five minutes. Definitely an easy trip. They have some really cool Airbnbs that you can see there. Um, let's see, where else? Joshua Tree, which is a hot spot right now. Five hours and 27 minutes. So you guys, Arizona is so conveniently located if you like to travel, which I know in the summer, I definitely love to travel. I love to travel all year round, but in the summer especially to get away from this heat, there's so many places you can go and you can do it for pretty inexpensively because you can go by car to all these different kinds of places. So I hope you guys got some good information from this video and you can kind of see how close Arizona and how conveniently located it is to all of these different things. We have tons of amazing attractions here in the Valley, but you can travel by car a couple hours and you're in some of the most beautiful places in the world. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. If there's anything else in about Arizona that you want to learn about, leave us a comment below. We're happy to make a video for you on that. Um, if you would like to access our free buyer and seller workshops, you can head over to gophoenixrealestate.com forward slash workshops. There is so much good information over there that you really can't find anywhere else. And it's all for free. So definitely go check that out. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.